In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to draw manual brake lines. Now I'm going to come through and remove those. So the easiest way to do it is use my select tool. And I'm going to expand here and look at my levels and select brake lines. I see I have four of them. I could just hit delete on my keyboard. They have been removed. My scalable terrain needs to be updated. So I'm going to come in here, regenerate that. And we see now it chopped that curve back out how it was originally. I'm going to show you how we would do this the way a surveyor would do this by cutting cross sections. The first step will go to a top view. So I pick my rotate and choose top view. We see here I can collapse this and I see my curb area here. This is the area that I want to work with. Uh, for this next part I'm going to turn off my scalable terrain mesh so that I'm not viewing that here. And next I'm going to cut a cross section. So we have our section tools. I he see here that we have a vertical one and it's going to, I'm going to call it curb. It will be a permanent section so that I could come back to this at a later time. I can choose my view of where it's going to go, where I'm showing my section. And I can set a thickness here. I'm going to set it to 0 feet 6 inches. And my forward backward step is 2 feet. I'm going to leave that at that phase. Cut my cross section. It asks me, I always follow the lower left corner. Enter point on plane. So I'm going to come across here and show my section across here. As soon as I do that, it opens up into view two. That now allows me to draw my section. So I, once again, I'm set to a break line level. I choose draw a line. And in my view here, just like a surveyor would be standing out there, I pick my view and I'm drawing it. We see here that I'm right on that plane. These black lines here show my section line, the plane that it's on, the back of the section, and the front of the section. All my section settings can be found in this reality model presentation. If I open that up, we see I have it over here. And if I go to sections, we can see my curb section cut there. And we also see the settings for it, for, so my forward and backwards. Now I can come over here and use the move forward and move backwards. If you don't have function keys set up, this would be the method that you would use to walk forward every two feet. Um, but I actually go through and make a function key, which I'll show you here if we go in the behind the scenes here under settings, user settings, and then function keys. We see here that I have F2 set to point cloud advanced section manipulation move forward and I have one used for move backwards. Uh, those can be set for you so that you could use your function keys to move forward like I am going to show you when I proceed through this. So I'm going to close that now again. I can just walk through. Now I set function keys for myself here where I hit F2 on my keyboard and it jumps me forward my forward step which is two feet. I pick the bottom of curb again. I jump forward two feet. I can pick the bottom of curb, go forward two feet and I keep doing this all the way down the curb that I'm working with. Now we see here if I spin into an isometric view we can see that my curb line is drawing along the bottom of this curb. So by using shortcut keys, my function key, I'm able to draw the bottom of the curb the same way that a surveyor would walk through here. I pick my area, snap to my point, and move forward. We see my section lines are working forward. I can proceed and do the same thing all the way down the curb. And we see there, that's how I did the bottom of curb. Now I could reset that and come back and very easily do the same thing coming across the top of the curb. We see now I am at the top of my curb. Now I have another function key set up to step backwards. So I hit backwards and I'm clicking and I'm just picking the top of the curb where a, a surveyor would normally place. But by viewing this in a section view, it allows me really to see how this curb is shaped and if I'm picking the right part of the curb that I want to. And we see here, I follow that same principle, and I'm working my way back up the curb that I have in my section, as we see here. That's another method that I use for drawing brake lines. Since I drew them on that brake line level in my scalable terrain model, I could just regenerate these. Uh, because we see when I went to the modify here that it is looking for brake lines on a level. So since that's already attached, I can keep drawing brake lines, add them as needed, and I just need to regenerate my surface. And when we look here, 
uh, put on my mesh we see now it is going up and beyond around this I could turn off my reality mesh so that we no longer see that and I can see that I have my front and back of curb drawn on here in a 3d mesh that concludes how I would draw brake lines using cross sections